them so I know makeup and I'm still talking low because you know we literally just woke up from bed but today's video is what um, my picky one year old eats um, in a day you guys we just stopped breastfeeding and A's have been like he's been eating like a, con a construction worker guys you guys like we stopped breastfeeding and how I did it because I had said it on my vlog last week and a lot of you guys said how did you how did you do it I actually tried a lot of things I tried aloe vera like putting aloe vera gel all over my nipple to see if he would stop him breastfeeding that didn't stop him I tried lemon it didn't stop the only thing that stopped was this um, band-aid so I just used band-aid you guys know like the regular band-aid so basically I just use band-aid tape it you know on my nipple and when he comes to you know when he comes to breastfeed he sees the, the bandage and he will be like and then when he sees it i'll be like oh like like you know that i have a wound there and then he will cover back my clothes and if we've been out of breastfeeding for i would say two weeks now it's been two weeks it's been an amazing two weeks now when i lay down i sleep all through when babies breastfeed they get all the nutrients you know even if they're not eating at least you know whatever you're eating is converting into the breast milk and then they are, got to, they are getting the nutrients but now he stopped breastfeeding so he's you know i always want to make sure that he eats balanced diets you know that he gets all the nutrients he needs so I've been you know we've been really really trying out so many things especially with the fact that he's a picky baby so I'm going to share what he eats in a day his breakfast lunch and his dinner in today's video so let's just go ahead and get started yes, let's go ahead and get started okay so since he lifted this um this cereal box so usually I always inter-switch between his cereal and also like his real breakfast food so out of all the cereals we tried for him he absolutely loved the fruit loops and to make his cereal i always use um a milk and this milk right here he absolutely love it is for you know toddlers and yeah this is what we normally do like the cereal is what we normally do days where you know i feel like oh he's not into like real breakfast food but for his breakfast today i'm gonna make him a quick breakfast food and he absolutely love his um, pancake and egg and all those good stuff one thing about is is he doesn't like dry eggs so i noticed that and ever since then guys like whenever i make saucy egg for him he eats it so well so basically all i do is just cut up some tomatoes pepper and onion and kind of make um you know, like saucy um, um, egg, you know, you know how like when you make dry eggs, it's just dry, you know, there's nothing to it. But eggs absolutely love saucy, like something that has tomatoes and you know, like saucy food. So what I basically do is I go ahead and cut up some tomatoes. Of course, they don't need to be perfect, guys, like especially usually when he wakes up in the morning, you know, sometimes his breakfast is... Um, ready while other times i'm still making it but today as you all can see he's literally like sitting here watching tv and waiting for me to get his breakfast ready i'm just gonna beat two eggs always want to make sure the eggs are not spot i have the pancake batter right here and i'm just gonna add one egg love to add a lot of milk just to make the pancake really really fluffy adding cinnamon to your pancake always like it tastes so good then for sweetener i love to add honey i just put all these things and then mix it up oh guys if you if you try this pancake so good it always tastes so good and then i go ahead and add a little bit of water I like, like, we like our pancakes very, very soft, you know, we don't like too much of a thick pancake. Yes, the food is almost ready, daddy, okay? So guys, the pancake is ready. I just pack them up. 
you guys look look how nice this looks and then just add it to his plate so i just added the tomato pepper and onion and i'm just gonna fry it up he's over here playing guys so i'm just gonna fry the tomatoes up a little you know how like when you're making tomato stew right you leave it to get puree a lot but with this one i don't i don't let it get too much um like i don't i don't make it kind of dry out because he's not gonna eat that you know he likes it kind of saucy i'm just gonna add seasoned salt to taste and then some black pepper just a little oh my god so now i'm just gonna add the egg it's the food is ready like literally literally is ready it's is very 7 30 and you're ready crying for food jeez just turn it up and I always like to give him um, some fruits with his food. This um, this right here is a plate already, so I just cut up some banana for him. You guys, can you see how he's rushing the banana? He loves banana a lot. Okay, so for something to drink, I love to give him cranberry juice or like 100% cranberry juice or apple juice and with the juices, I always like to mix a, a little bit of water, you know, just so to, dil to dilute it. Essie, you know you that can be giving you your own drink. Uh -huh. Nice. It's good. You feed yourself, okay? You're a big boy. Big boy. time snack time all right guys so for snacks we're going to be having some apple and peanut butter always check if your child is allergic to, to peanut butter guys you can't just give any child you know peanut butter but i just like to cut up some apples for him for snack i add a little peanut butter he's already picking it up <laughs> this child and then I add a little peanut butter for him. He's eating his apples. Yes, are you eating your apples? Mm? Nice. Nice, Daddy Paul. I usually just let him eat his apple. You guys, you can see how he's taking the the peanut butter he likes to use his hand and then take the peanut butter look at him <laughs> so it's um, it's lunch time but my mister is currently sleeping and when it comes to lunch guys i grew up in nigeria and in my home like my mom made it kind of um, a routine that we eat eba that is fufu or pounded yam whatever you call it we eat that every afternoon so when i got married i also introduced you know that to my home so if it's not fufu Yes, we'll probably have noodles. That is what we call indomie in Nigeria, you know. But for this afternoon, I have a goosey soup. Hey, 
Hey, don't touch it. This child. Hey, see. Uh -huh. He's already eating. I can't even see your mouth. Come on. Ever since he stopped breastfeeding, guys, like he's been gauzing food like a, a construction worker. He's crazy. Hey, see. So for dinner guys, I'm going to be keeping it very simple. We're making some pasta and then some um, some green beans. So I just love to cut up um, green beans because like Ace likes it when you cut it up like this. He doesn't like all them, you know, long ones. Sometimes I just like the long ones where you just make it. But for him, he just likes it when I cut it up like this and then I'm going to spray some olive oil on my baking tray and then add it up and then I just sprinkle a little bit of um, seasoned salt just you know salt to taste and then toss it right into the oven I'm just gonna cut up some onion for the pasta water for the pasta boiling and I'm just going to add a little bit of oil this will help make sure the pasta you know when it's cooked it's separated I don't like it when my pasta is all the way mango dough I'm just going to quickly make some pasta sauce and I'm going to add my olive oil and then the cut um, pepper and then onion add some pasta sauce he's gonna be having the pasta with some meatballs so I just like to add the meatballs immediately I add the pasta sauce the pasta sauce so that way you know all the sauce and all the spice and everything will also penetrate inside the meatballs just spice up the sauce a little bit I'm gonna add some um, black pepper seasoned um, salt to taste And a little bit of um, chicken bouillon. Daddy, you ready for dinner? A dinner, dinner time! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Easy, you love food. And I love that you love food. Gazu, hmm? gazu. Oh, yeah. How? Woom! Before bedtime, we always have kind of a bed, bedtime snack. Hey, see. Daddy Poo. Hey, see, wait, let me cut it. I gotta cut it, okay? Hey. 
and mango. That's it. <laughs> He's even taking. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs>